series on a Mark III VR6. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a motor in. It's a three liter motor. It's already built. Um, I'm just going through some of the build. I'm refreshing a lot of the gaskets, um, painting a lot of the block. I just want it to look nice when it goes in the car. Again, it's a three liter Schimmel built motor. It's got a Schrick head, the bells and the whistles. So it's a board motor from Schimmel Performance up in Pennsylvania. Uh, they make a lot of lot of good stuff. If you don't know who they are, uh, definitely Google Schimmel. Um, you'll see a lot of VR6 stuff. I mean, they're pretty fast up there. So the motor we have here was originally in a Mark IV Jetta. Chassis is super heavy. It was a GLX, so it had leather interior. It had heated seats, uh, you name it, sunroof. Uh, it had everything in it, so the car was well over 4,000 pounds. The car went 12.3 at 121 miles an hour with a Chinese GT45. Which is amazing for a 4,000 pound car. But we're gonna go with something a little lighter and see if we can get a little better result. I'm running a CTS exhaust manifold, tile wastegate, 38 millimeter. It's gonna have a T72 Chinese turbo. I got C2 Motorsports intake manifold. It's got OBX pulleys, um, aluminum flywheel, six puck clutch. Transmission is gonna be completely stock O2A. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do with it. And then I do have an O2M, which is the six speed version um, that I'm gonna throw in a little later on. So I'm gonna go through the car so you can kind of see what we got. So this is the car. It's a 1997 Volkswagen Jetta GLX. As you can see, we've already pulled the motor. Pretty clean car. Don't mind all the parts or whatnot. Um, you know, it is what it is. But overall, really clean car. I'm gonna show you the motor that's going in it. So this is the motor. It's already been painted. We have new gaskets on the oil filter housing, new gaskets on the oil cooler. It's got a new crack pipe. Uh, we're gonna attempt to run these OBX pulleys. We'll see what happens. I do have the crank pulley as well and the alternator pulley, which is gonna go up here. This is a C2 Motorsports. Intake manifold, CTS, fuel rail, and then these are just custom lines that I that I made. 630cc injectors, finishing up the timing chain covers. They're already painted. Uh, timing chain should be about ready to go. I'm waiting on the sprocket because I went from single chain to dual chain up top, so I can run the Mark III hand position sensor. So there's that. So the plan is to have just a clean car with a full interior, good suspension. Good tires, high horsepower motor, and let's see what we can do with a with a stock five speed. I do have a six speed that I can swap in, but I do want to get the gears treated. Um, I want to get some bracing done. I don't want to ruin the six speed just because they're kind of hard to come by. I'd rather put a five speed in and just have fun on the street. Um, I think it'll be fine for now. And let's see what we got for the video. El video. 